of Rhode Island's largest hospitals are taking extra precautions to prevent the spread of illness during cold and flu season. And that means some changes for anyone visiting those hospitals over the next few months. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald has the details. As we get closer to cold and flu season, new restrictions are now in place at Rhode Island Hospital and Hasbro Children's Hospital to reduce patient risk of respiratory infection. If you're planning to visit Rhode Island Hospital or Hasbro Children's Hospital now through April, bear in mind there are different restrictions during cold and flu season. So we have a, a pretty robust uh, program to try to reduce risk of hospital-acquired respiratory viral infections. Starting October 1st, newly arrived patients showing symptoms of respiratory infection will be screened with a nasal swab. Visitors under 12 years old will not be allowed at Hasbro Children's Hospital's inpatient units. All visitors will be verbally screened for signs of respiratory illness. And hospital staff will also be required to have a flu vaccine or wear a mask. What we have found is in those units where we screen visitors the last respiratory virus season, compared to the units, the inpatient units where we did not screen, we had a two to three fold reduction in hospital acquired respiratory viral infections. Dr. Leonard Murmel is the medical director of epidemiology and infection control at Rhode Island and Hasbro Children's Hospital. He says they've expanded on their prevention program meant to help patients especially vulnerable to respiratory viruses. Major surgery or might have had a heart attack or a stroke. We don't want to add on top of that a respiratory virus infection which can be very serious in patients with other comorbidities. Besides those precautions, each hospital entrance has hand sanitizer, masks, and tissues. This prevention program will run through April. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.